Hey, I'm Mike Gillette, tactical training specialist and former bodyguard. I'm here today with criticalbench.com and we're talking about how to avoid a fight. Now, the problem with that statement is it doesn't necessarily mirror what may be happening to you in a given circumstance. How to avoid a fight? Most of the time when we're talking about a fight, what we're really talking about is fighting back. Fighting back is a legal thing. Fighting back is you defending yourself. Two people fighting is generally an illegal act. So let's be clear on that, number one. Number two, understand that some fights or some attacks happen before you realize they're happening. The fight or the attack isn't always the physical violence at the end, the dramatic stuff, the injury producing stuff, the really, really dangerous stuff. The, the fight or the attack may have started long before this. For some reason, you were selected by some bad guy as a potential target, as a potential victim. If that's the case, you need to know how that stuff works and you need to have a response to that type of a situation. You can't avoid an attack if you've already been singled out for an attack unless you figure out you have become the focal point of an attack. I hope that makes sense, it's a lot of steps. Basically, you have to be attentive to your surroundings and once you figure out what may be taking place, you have to make some difficult decisions. Now, people will ask me, how do I know when it's, it's okay to fight back, uh, which we cover in another video, what, what criteria you need to sort of personally satisfy to answer that question for yourself. But in terms of, of fight avoidance, which of course is what we all would like to be able to do, we don't always have that option. Now if you're asking me, hey Mike, what if the bad guy has a weapon? What if he's threatening me with a weapon and he said, you know, I need to do this uh, or he's, he's going to cut me. What do I do then? I mean, I certainly don't want to get hurt. Of course, we, none of us want to get hurt. I don't want you to get hurt. The problem with this situation is only you can read the variables present in your situation. All of these circumstances are going to be ambiguous, they're gonna be stressful, there's gonna be a lot to figure out. I cannot give you an absolute correct answer. There is no absolute correct answer. There is the best answer based on your perception of the entirety of the circumstances in that moment. Will you, if you comply, survive that situation? I don't know. If you give your purse, hand over your wallet, might you still be killed? Yes. That's a pretty harsh reality to consider. The only thing that gives you a proactive role in that whole situation is if you decide to fight back. Will it be the right decision? Well, we're not gonna know right away. We're not gonna know until later. But if you fight back, you are taking responsibility for yourself, and if this person had designs on hurting you later, trying to get you to a more dangerous point, then you've hopefully been able to prevent that from happening. You are in charge of your own safety, you are responsible for whatever it is that you do or choose not to do. In this case, it's all on you. What we want to do is to give you as much information as many options as we possibly can so you've got as many tools at your disposal if you find yourself in a situation such as this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.